Hello everyone, welcome to the life of Michael Jameson and our vlog from Cadbury World. Hello. It's going to be a fun day, we're going to have a very nice time. I uh, don't know exactly how it works, I have been here once before but I don't remember, it was a very long time ago, Claire has never been. So we've booked for half twelve so I don't know if we get a tour or something like that. So yeah, I think I last came here when I was like, I mean definitely around ten. Um, yeah, looking forward to going inside and uh, getting involved, let's go. Cadbury Cafe and the world's biggest Cadbury shop, wow, very cool. Wow, we just got given chocolate, chocolate, free chocolate, I mean, it's not that surprising to get chocolate, we are at Cadbury World, but that is still really cool. Oh wow, so we've started the tour in some kind of jungle locale. Oh, there's a snake there, Christ alive. Uh, I think this is like cocoa beans reference. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Pause if you want to read it. It's decent, some, uh, it's like Aladdin and whatnot in it. Oh, yeah. Do I think there's a penis under there? Well, we can have a look for it. I can't see anything. The uh, problem is the zoom on this camera is very slow. Can't see anything. A nice big ship there, look. We're now walking under the archway. Oh, there's an audio guide. Sheesh. St. James in London. If you do have any wheelchairs or pushchairs, please take them over to the far side of the room as it's more room to accommodate you. We have got the here we go, we've got some interactive interactive items now. Let's, quick, let's go with this one. Come on, let's look at that. Right, what we do? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look at cream eggs, yeah. Cadbury produce over 400 million Cadbury's cream eggs every year. Cadbury's cream eggs start life as thick, warm, liquid chocolate. The thick, warm liquid is deposited into half egg shaped molds. The molds are shaken gently to get rid of any air. The molds pass under a second depositor, which adds a measured amount of white fondant, the egg white, into the mold. The molds then pass under a third depositor, which deposits a yellow fondant, the egg yolk, into half of the egg molds. A special machine then snaps together the two halves of the egg to create a whole egg, rather like quickly closing a book. The eggs then go into a cooler for 45 minutes. The molds are separated and the whole eggs are placed on trays before being passed under a metal detector. The foil wrapping machines wrap each egg individually in distinctive foil before moving them to the automated packaging machine which inserts a specific quantity into each of the cardboard outers wow. before being wrapped in film. I don't know, I've got some cream eggs that are even more out of date than that because uh, there was a shop in Aylesbury selling a box of 48 for 7 quid a box. It was um, 18 months ago and I've probably still got about 56 left. Amazing. Yeah. I didn't like cream eggs as much as I thought. <laughs> and then turn upside down to evenly coat the mould with chocolate and allow excess chocolate to run out. The chocolate shells are turned again and cooled. When set, the shells pass under a second depositor which deposits a measured amount of filling into each shell. Don't you go offering The shells are shaken again to level you're planning. Oh, I like the look at this time tunnel. Oh shoot, that's the, oh my god, that looks, see that is when they're at the peak. When they had those designs, that was peak. That was 14 years ago. Master done. Yeah, that is my favourite era of Cadbury's. Yeah. Yeah, Claire likes her chop puds. All the old shit on the right, innit? Ooh. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, no, ph no photography or video. Well, we've got more chocolate. They're trying to fatten us up. Already had one bar. Yeah. So we just did some chocolate tempering. I don't believe you were allowed to film that bit. So, uh, but yeah, we did well. I was, I mean, the palette knife stage, I was absolutely fantastic at it. Oh, I was fantastic. She's going to tell stories about how good I was. Don't know if this is like old factory bants out there, but 
Looks bloody interesting. Whatever it is. Oh, so this also acts as an actual queue for the ride at some point, so 40 minutes from here. Yeah, decent, man. They've got a world's smallest ice cream factory there, currently closed. Behind the scene. Right, we've picked up the time tunnel again here. Scylla becomes television face of Cadbury Dome. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. It, it is this. It, guys, I am telling you, this is, this is the one. Honestly, Cadbury, go back this to that design. Wow. I remember that big, when they did that big rebrand with uh, all the different flavours coming under the dairy milk uh, umbrella. That's, here we are on the Kadabra ride. I'm not going to film the whole thing because I'm sure there's enough. I'm sure there's a PAV online, but uh, yeah, nice little car that we're in. Capri Dairy Milk Bunny there. Currently experiencing a breakdown, yeah. a technical breakdown. Yeah, get yeah. there you go, Claire. What is that cactus? I don't get why that's a cactus. <laughs> Oh, it's chilly. Dark ride was pretty good. Uh, you definitely have the sense that you're in a factory in this uh, place. We are now entering the Chocolatey Arch. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah, it smells good in here. Dinosaur. Oh, that's the new football range. Very good. Well done. Are they bringing that up with that? I don't know. It looks like a product, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh wow! Oh my god, that person looks crazy. Well, I assume so. Right, this section you get a little pot of melted chocolate yeah. with some two toppings. You've, what do you got, Claire? Marshmallow and crunchy. And I've got crunchy and biscuit. Have some of that. Tell you what, I made that. <laughs> Get a minstrel in there. There we go. Dropping it all over the floor. Mm. Even better. Yeah. Did you film the uh, chocolate castle? Wow, shoes. Advertising Avenue. Oh, look at that. Well, that's the rose on the new, well, new, <laughs> uh, Cadbury's tin for Christmas. Is it? 
You picked uh, it up the other day. Yeah, you yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Cabaret button. Oh shit! Yeah, fuck. Wow. Here we go. This when everything debuted. Whisper came in 19. 19 AD. Wow. I thought it was newer than that. Fudge. Curly Whirly. Whisper. Wow. Believe. Bite it and believe it, yeah. Astros! Oh my god! Great, look at this, the crunchy roller coaster diorama model. That's great. That's wonderful. All because the lady loves milk tray. I got that right on Quivia the other day. Okay, I'll line up a special treat for you live. Let's go bananas for my furry friend who needs no introduction. Oh, what's this? Press any button to start. Have you done it? Wait, what? Yeah. Yes, press any button to start. Yeah, it's just these. It's not the licorice. It's not the licorice all sorts. Is it? What? No, it's not the licorice all sorts. Interesting angles. Interesting angles make things better. Oh, Iron Fist reference. Oh no, it's Charizard, even better. Charizard t-shirt. So guys, we're now in the, what is it, the world's biggest Cadbury store? A, basically a bloody massive Cadbury store. We'll look at a few things here, but uh, if you want to have a look at our full vlog, oh look, classic advert. Check out our full vlog from here on Food Review UK. If, anything else around there? Right, so we're now done in the, uh, in the shop. Like I say, go over to Food Review UK to see our full shopping vlog. Uh, nice, nice. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's got a pink gold foil on it. That looks awesome. Shame that when you... Very deceiving. Well, if the alternative is a bag, a free bag or a free toy. Uh, love, love the foil on there. That looks amazing. It's a shame that when you become an adult, you literally have no need for pencils, isn't it? No, I, I use pencils well. Sometimes. Well, okay, sometimes then. Yeah, we just spent £36 on chocolate. 
Jeez, I mean, the, to be fair, I can't really show it actually because there's some presents in there. We have got presents for people, but yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I think that's. I think the ticket's about 16 quid. You get about three chocolate bars. That brings it down to around 14-ish. Yeah, it's a, it's a do good. Go the oh, there's a Ford Adventure. I'm not bothered, are you? I don't mind. Cool. We're going to go off and do that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I've, nah. <laughs> I was just... I was just... <laughs> I was trying to keep up pretense on the vlog, Claire. Um, it's, pro it's probably all right, innit? 4D cinemas are mostly the same. and I can't... I mean, I've not heard great things about it, so why would I? Um, yeah. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, subscribe for more absolute anturbantics hilarity. I do believe, unless I'm mistaken, that is a yellow Ford Car Plus. I'm, unless I'm mistaken, that is a yellow Ford Car Plus. Number plate, yep, number plate checks out because they were only made last year, so, wow. From one front of Ford yellow car to another. Oi, nice car, mate! <laughs> Yeah, it is a Ford Car Plus. You have a cool car. The graffiti on this advert is incredible. That is fucking banter.